We're with Secretary General Toure in his offices on the 14th floor of the tower building of the International Telecommunication Union in the heart of Geneva. Dr. Toure, it's been a very successful week. Good to be here and uh, you've seen uh, we had uh, about uh, 1,600 people for the Swiss Plus 10 Forum and high level event. A number of uh, ministers, about 100 ministers. Debates were good. Uh, mind, positive minds were converging. We are here uh, 10 years after the World Summit on Information Society. And the issues we, uh, we had put on the table back then are still valid and therefore we are very pleased. A lot of progress has been made worldwide in implementing the uh, ideals of the World Summit on Information Society. We have together is this week again build a new roadmap for the future. We're thinking of post-2015 development agenda, and that's great. We spoke just after the acclamation of the two uh, high-level documents of the high-level track. Uh, at the end of the day on Wednesday, there was a lot of positive emotion. Uh, you seemed very, very happy. You still feeling happy? You see, this is a true spirit of ITU, and that's what makes me feel good because, you know, we here in ITU, we have, being the oldest organization of the United Nations family, we have a culture here of consensus. And again, this week, we have proven that. And so I'm really very happy that uh, we're not changing our culture or our style. And we're making everybody equally happy. We're, the issue we're dealing with are technical issues. And this is why we're able to reach this kind of uh, common agreement without ideological fights, without uh, political fights. And that's the true spirit of ITU. So I'm really very, very pleased with the results. We've been able to put a a roadmap for the future. We have agreed on some of the key issues that were normally would be divisive in other camps, issues of uh, addressing the media, uh, issues of uh, freedom on the web, issues of uh, cybersecurity, are very important issues and people can be emotional about them. And But we need to dis debate those issues with uh, real uh, belief in what we want to achieve together, have cross-fertilization of minds, of positions. From friction comes light most of the time, and uh, we've been able to prove that again. Uh, we've been able to find common denominators. You know, we humans have so many things in common. We tend to fight sometimes over li our little differences, but when you sit around the, around the table, we're able to cut some really good deals. And I think everybody is going out of this forum uh, equally happy. So you've essentially updated the 2005-2003 documents to make them fit for the 21st century post-2015. So what happens next? You see, it, back then in 2003-2005, uh, we were when we were debating this, the Millennium Development Goals were already set at that time. ICT was not part of the MDGs, and it was seen as a tool. Of course, we used it as a tool to help progress toward meeting the goals, the Millennium Development Goals of uh, uh, in health, uh, education, or any other sector. Now, everybody sees ICT not only as a cross-cutting uh, industry, but also an industry in itself. Therefore, we all agree here today that it is important to set a special target for ICTs in the post-2015 development agenda, in the sustainable development agenda. And this is valid for both developing countries and developed countries. They all agree on that. And therefore, it was very encouraging that this has been highlighted here by over 100 ministers, civil society, and also private sector. Remember that this is uh, the most multi-stakeholder event ever taking place anywhere else because we got civil society, governments, private sector, academia, and international organizations together. That's the true continuation of the spirit of the World Summit on Information Society. Remember, that was decided back in 1998 at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference in Minneapolis when we decided that to enter the information society that we are trying to build. We needed an inclusive society, bringing all stakeholders together. That's why both summits uh, 
in Geneva and Tunis in 2003 and 2005 were very successful without any demonstration outside. Why would you demonstrate outside if you can come inside and make your point? And that's exactly what happened. And what, I'm, what uh, we were true then is still true today, and we are experimenting uh, the results that are coming from that, and we want to continue. So uh, this week in Geneva, during the uh, special uh, high-level event, for the VCS Plus 10, we are setting a new roadmap for the future uh, in common, which will continue to be built on a multi-stakeholder mode. Now, I know that your team is already uh, preparing the 2015 event. How will that work and what will be the main priorities? Decision still will have to be taken in New York. We don't want to preempt on that. We want to make sure that we are bringing an input to the decision that will be taken at the General Assembly. On the continuation of the process. Absolutely, absolutely. But it's very important to note that all of this, the same stakeholders here will be the ones in New York anyway. And I'm comforted by the fact that they will still believe, all of them, that uh, ICT will, is a, not only a cross-cutting industry that will help um, the other sectors, but it should be seen as a, uh, an industry in itself, after all, two-thirds of the new jobs in the world are created through ICT today. And the ones that are not created through ICT will, are created by searching jobs on the web as well. And it's also giving the opportunity to create jobs for yourself. And, and therefore, we really uh, want to continue to highlight this point and make sure that uh, uh, the post-2015 development agenda uh, takes into account all of the pillars of the development of this society. But I'm also pleased with the progress made since uh, 2003. Uh, back then, we had less than a billion uh, users of uh, mobile phones. We have reached 7 billion this year. Uh, back then, there were, over, there were less than 600 million users of Internet. We have reached 3 billion now. A lot of progress has been made, but having said that, new gap could be created in broadband, and we're trying to avoid that. This is why, as you know, ITU and UNESCO created the Broadband Commission for Digital Development back in 2010 to help make progress toward that, to make sure that every nation has a national broadband plan. In order to, to be successful, you've got to gotta have a plan first. And uh, what I'm pleased to see is that over 165 countries have now a national broadband plan, and many more are, are working with us in order to build their plan. And in forum like this, we are exchanging best practices, good and bad experiences, so that no one has to reinvent something that was invented somewhere by lack of information. No one should make a mistake that was made elsewhere by lack of information. After all, we are in the information society. With that, I can safely say that we are laying the foundation to move into the knowledge society that we are dreaming of now. And that will be a reality very soon. Dr. Tori, thank you. Thank you, my pleasure. <laughs>